Someone has stolen Mrs. Turtle's eggs from Meadow Marsh Bank. Arabella Raccoon thinks she and her brother, Albert, can find the robbers. The twins tiptoe out of the house and run through the shadowy woods to the scene of the crime. They hear scary noises and meet scary creatures. But who are the robbers? And where are the eggs? Lillian Hoban's first I Can Read mystery is spooky and funny and full of surprises, just right to keep new readers reading to the clever end. Harper and Row, Publishers. Story and Pictures by Harper and Row, Publishers. One evening, Grandpa Raccoon hurried to Arabella and Albert's house. There has been a holdup, he called. Where? asked the twins. At Meadow Marsh Bank, said Grandpa. Two robbers stole the eggs that Mrs. Turtle deposited. Did the cops catch the robbers? asked Arabella. Will there be a shootout? asked Albert. Were there any clues? asked Mr. Raccoon. No, said Grandpa. The robbers wore masks and long, dark coats. They moved slowly. They were very scary. After the robbery, one went east and one went west. Nobody dared to follow them. I bet I could find more clues, said Arabella. Me too, said Albert. I would catch those robbers fast. The twins went to bed. They could not fall asleep. I wonder who stole those eggs, whispered Albert. I bet we can solve the mystery, said Arabella. The twins lay awake a long time. Suddenly, Arabella said, Albert, we have masks. All we need are long, dark coats. Then we will look like the robbers. Arabella tiptoed to the closet. She came back with two big, dark coats. Here, she said to Albert. Put this on and let's go. Where are we going? asked Albert. We are going to find the robbers, said Arabella. Robbers are dangerous, said Albert. Not if they think we are robbers, said Arabella. The twins tiptoed past the kitchen. They slipped quietly out the front door. They ran through the shadowy woods. An owl hooted. Two who? Two who? Arabella, Albert whispered. Maybe the real robbers are hiding near here. I hope so, said Arabella. Grandpa said. One robber went east. And one robber went west. Now it is dark. They will meet back here. They will split up the loot, and we will be there to catch them. The twins came to the edge of the woods. There was Meadow Marsh Bank. I think the robbers will meet here. Whispered Arabella. Shush. Said Albert. I hear something. Arabella and Albert sat very still. They could hear the wind in the leaves. They could hear the birds peeping softly in the trees. They could hear a swish swish swishing. It came closer and closer. And closer. It is one of the robbers, whispered Arabella. It is moving slowly, just like Grandpa said. It is a snake, yelled Albert. I am getting out of here. Albert jumped into the bushes. The snake slithered over a root. It stopped in front of Arabella. Arabella saw the snake's tongue dart in and out. She was afraid to move. Where is your hump? hissed the snake. What hump? asked Arabella. The hump on your back, hissed the snake. You had a hump. When you stole Mrs. Turtle's eggs. You are wearing. The same coat and mask, but now you do not have a hump. I am not a robber, said Arabella. My brother and I are looking for the robbers. We want to scare them. Then they will give back the eggs. I just saw your brother, said the snake. He was moving much faster than the robbers. The snake slithered out of sight. Albert, called Arabella softly. 
The snake is gone. Albert did not answer. Suddenly, there were horse squawks near Meadow Marsh Bank. Help! Help! Let me go, yelled Albert. Oh, cried Arabella. The robbers have Albert. She ran quickly to Meadow Marsh Bank. She saw two dark, shadowy figures. They were holding Albert upside down. They were shaking him. Awk! Awk! Robber! 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 They croaked. I am not a robber, yelled Albert. Put me down, you old crows. Give us the eggs. Croaked one of the crows. Yum, yum. Croaked the other crow. Scrambled eggs, poached eggs, fried eggs. Give back. Those lovely turtle eggs. The crows shook Albert until his teeth chattered. Arabella stepped forward. Reach for the sky, crows, she yelled. I have you covered. Yawk! Yawk! screeched the crows. Help! Another robber. We are not robbers, said Arabella. We thought you were the robbers. We are not robbers, said one of the crows. We flew over to eat, oops. I mean, to see Mrs. Turtle's eggs, we eat, I mean, see her eggs every year. When we got here, the eggs were gone. Sneaky Mrs. Turtle, said the other crow. She always deposited her eggs at Duckweed Swamp Bank before. Well, said Arabella. I am glad the eggs were stolen before you got here. You are very nasty to eat them every year. If that is the way you feel, we will leave right now, said the crows. We have seen a snake, said Albert. We have seen some crows. But we have not seen the robbers. The snake and the crows gave us two more clues, said Arabella. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute, said Albert. I know all the other clues. But what is the snake's clue? Arabella whispered in Albert's ear. You are right, said Albert. The snake gave us a great clue. The twins ran through the woods to their house. Let's leave our coats on the porch, whispered Arabella. We do not want to look like robbers. Then they slipped away to the other side of the pond. They found the old log house by the light of the moon. Arabella knocked at the door. Who is there? called a voice. It is the raccoon twins, said Albert. We know who stole the eggs. Go away, said another voice. We have had enough trouble. Please let us in, said Arabella. We came to help. The door opened a crack. Mr. Turtle stuck out his head. Come in, he said. Mrs. Turtle was sitting at the kitchen table. On the table was a basket. In the basket were the stolen turtle eggs. We knew the eggs would be here, said Albert. How did you know that? asked Mrs. Turtle. Well, said Arabella. We knew that the robbers ran slowly. Turtles run very slowly. We knew that the robbers had humps on their backs. Turtles have shells. The shells would look like humps under long coats. That's right, said Albert. Then we found the crows. They were looking for the eggs. They said you always deposited them at Duckweed Swamp before. We thought you were tired of the crows eating your eggs, said Arabella. So this year, you deposited the eggs at Meadow Marsh to confuse them. That was my idea, said Mr. Turtle proudly. It was my idea to stage the robbery, said Mrs. Turtle, to confuse the crows even more. But we figured out who stole the eggs, said Arabella. The crows will figure it out, too. Let us take the eggs to our house, said Albert. The crows will never think to look for them there. Mr. and Mrs. Turtle looked at each other. The twins are right, mother, said Mr. Turtle. I know they are, said Mrs. Turtle. 
I did not know where. We could hide the eggs next. Arabella and Albert carried the eggs back to their house. The kitchen light was still on. Do you think mother and father will be angry because we sneaked out? asked Albert. Maybe they will be angry at first, said Arabella. But when they hear how we found the eggs, they will be very proud. I bet Grandpa will be proudest of all, said Albert. And that is exactly what happened. Lillian Hoban is the author and illustrator of numerous I Can Read books, including Amar, Pig and Sunny 2, The Laziest Robot in Zone 1, written with her daughter, Phoebe, and, of course, the much-loved stories about Arthur the Chimp and his sister, Violet.